All right, I hope this is a decent angle to capture the work that I'm doing this evening. It is Thursday evening, and yay, thank goodness it's Friday. I don't have anything to do over this weekend except look look forward to the return of Tyjon. He comes in from Jamaica on Saturday. I have to find out what his flight is. I don't even know. I don't think she had sent that information over to us when they left. I don't think she had booked it just yet. But um, unfortunately, because I drive a jalopy that is really just meant to get me right around town to work and back, I'm not going to be able to pick him up. He'll catch an Uber home. Um, and it's better because, again, it's a jalopy, so unfortunately there's no AC. And after coming in from such an amazing 10-day or 11-day vacation with his grandmother, his nana, he needs to ride back in style. So he'll be able to do that by grabbing himself an Uber, AC, and the ride home will be pleasant. I know nighttime will be very, very happy to see him. And other than that, nothing going on this weekend. Next Saturday, I'm going to be taking my second pottery wheel class. Um, big thanks to my girl Ralph Mead at my job. I had paid off $200 of the $250, and things are really, really tight for me right now. So, I, you know, I didn't know when I was going to be able to come up with that other $50. Yeah, tight like that. And again, I have a village that is incomparable, and she just sprang into action and was like, I ain't get you anything for your birthday, so I'm going to send you $50. Get your pottery wheel. And she sent it to me right while I was sitting there. And I paid for my pottery wheel right then and there. One of the best birthday gifts ever, along with all of the gifts you guys got me from off of my list. So, you know, I'm thankful. I, I have no reason to complain. Even when um, money is tight like this, I have so many people that really come through and really look out for me. And I have never, ever done this by myself. And I thank you guys for not allowing me to do it by myself. Because, you know, this economy, it's, it's just not a joke. And so many things that were so easy to get taken care of back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like 10 years ago. Hell, maybe even five. They can feel insurmountable now. So I'm thankful for my village. I'm thankful for my angels. I'm thankful for every opportunity I'm afforded to keep doing the work that I love. Because y'all have supported me by buying my um, my art supplies and showing your love when I'm doing these videos and um, I'm looking forward to you showing up for the Facebook live sale in October again the date has not been set yet but if you want a reminder for that when the date is set I promise that if you send me your email you'll get a maximum of three emails one is going to be once the date is set and the other two are going to be um, like three days before the actual event and then like, I'm sorry, I'm focusing on this too. And then like two hours, two or three hours before the Facebook Live launches, just so you have a nice little reminder to log on, get yourself seated. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to have to do a little studying up on Facebook Live to make sure it runs smoothly for me. And that when you guys um, type in your number for the piece that you want, that I don't have any mix-ups. If Ty is available on that day, I might even have him help me. And he's an actor, so he likes to be on camera, so that won't be a big deal for him. So don't worry. But this is the Gile Goddess um, pendant. You already saw the wall hanging sculpture. I'm very proud of it. I'm trying to think of what I want to do right here. Doo -doo -doo. Bear with me, guys. All right, I think it's time for me to focus, so I hush now.
you had enough food, honey. You had enough food. I know your eyes don't look good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take a break to take care of my cat. Let's see. The time now is 31 minutes. He has a problem with his eyes, and they start watering, and I can tell when they're bothering him because they get really gloopy. So I'm going to clean his eyes. I'm going to get him some cat food, chill with him for a minute, and then I'll come back. So let me scrub some of this off. This is how far along we've gotten so far. I've got to hold it at a point because it's not, um, you know, it's not really on this cutting board. So, oh, I'm going to pull that up. So that's what she's looking like so far, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Peace. All right, so I am back. I took my little break and paid some attention. I'm lying. I didn't pay any attention to my cat. I fed him, but he wants to cuddle because he misses the boy. And I'm sometimey. I'm not always in the mood um, to cuddle with him. So when I'm not in the mood, I don't. And, you know, he can get really insistent. And not in a bad way. Just annoying because I don't feel like being bothered right at that time. So it's just like, Ugh, don't love me right now. Love me another time when I feel like being loved. So he's out on the patio chilling. And I'm going to do this. I was getting ready to um, work something out with um, someone who needed my assistance. But that didn't pan out. So... I'm able to come back here and do what I do for a little while before I have to start thinking about tomorrow and getting ready for bed and all of that. So let's let's hook up with this. Uh, hopefully I haven't put this too far out of camera range. Uh, I adjusted it just now. Hopefully you can still see it.
I don't know if anybody around my age watches me. I'd like to think so. And by the way, my age is 57. But um, if there's anybody in my group, do y'all remember that game Operation from way back in the day? That's what this feels like sometimes, like exactly like that, especially when I'm doing like the finite details. Um, and I'm just trying to like make little moves without making too much of an impression or an indentation, like how I have to go in and pick up the little clay balls and particles that accumulate while you're working. And I'm usually going in with one of these sharp tools. So you have to have a feather light touch that you have to cultivate if you don't already have it. And I do not have a feather light touch. I'm, I'm pretty heavy handed for the most part to have absolutely no upper body strength. I don't know if I'm heavy handed as much as I am um, ungraceful. I'm clumsy. So I'll drop things and I'll, you know, jump forward when I should have been holding still, stuff like that. And this forces me to become graceful and to really take my time and control my hand and control my thoughts. So now I have to, I'm at the point where I need to go ahead and decide on where that pendant hole is going to be. So I'm trying to look at it straight on right now so that I can sort of measure what the halfway point is. And I usually do that by holding a ruler just to top it like this. And I just sort of squint and look at what's happening on either side of the ruler. And then once I determine that, I sort of let the ruler drop down and touch just a little bit so that I can get in there and make my mark. And this is where I wanted to make my mark, I think. Right in here, I could probably put it up a little bit higher and get it like right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and hope that I've balanced it, you know, well enough. We gonna say, so let's find a tool that'll work for that. Not this one, I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know what this is. Look, this is a tool I've never used before. It looks like the end of a knitting needle. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know nothing about that life. So I'm gonna go right in here and put the hole and then I'll wiggle it around a little bit and open it up. So I've just, uh, yeah, I think we're right about there. Hopefully, should be good. So I just hold it with both hands and I'm gonna twirl it and twirl it and apply a little bit of pressure until it hits the bottom. And a lot of times what will happen is this screwing motion will end up starting to lift the piece away from the board. It's not happening this time, but I'm touching, I'm touching the bottom of the board. I'm as far as I can go. And this is a good size tool. I'm a little concerned about how narrow it is um, at the other end. And then the same thing, you want to come back out just as carefully as you went in because the key is not to disturb too much. So I've created the hole. Um, however, I'm a little bit concerned about the narrowness. So I'm gonna see if this tool will fit right into it. It's not even really a tool. It's, um, I forgot what these were called. Um, I don't know, some sort of makeup application stick or something. I got it from the beauty supply shop and they were, shop, and they were like, I don't know, 50 in a pack or something like that. So I use it for a multitude of things. And once again, just go in the opposite direction and lift out. So that's really the width of the hole that I open. So what I have to do is this little stick is from the studio. And that's what she gave me as a guide because the hole needs to be as large as that so that when it shrinks down, she will take these pendants and thread them onto the stick and then she has a contraption that holds them up and that's how they'll go into the kiln. So I always have to make sure that that hole is considerably larger than this stick so that once it shrinks, um, you know, once it um, shrinks down, it's not going to close up to the point where she cannot get it in the kiln. So I'm just fixing that little hole right there because it's it split right there. And that's to be expected, you know, the clay is still very soft. So I'm just going around and making that neater. Hey, my stomach growled so loud just now, I thought y'all heard it. I'm not even gonna lie. It sounded like a bear. Help the bear. Mm -mm. I 
All right, so we're going to stop here for the night at 30 minutes and 55 seconds. I've had some short um, sculpting sessions today, and that's fine. That's not a problem at all. Everything does not have to cap at 45 minutes or an hour. Um, I feel like I got so much accomplished because she's basically done. Now, what's going to happen is she's going to sit out tonight um, just lightly covered by this, and air is going to get in there. She's going to dry a little harder, and then tomorrow... When I get home, I'll be able to go in with detail because the clay won't be as moist and as sticky. And if you guys have been paying attention, you might have noticed that I have not been cleaning up behind myself. And that's because I was coming right in doing certain things and it just really didn't make sense. But now I'm far enough along on this that I need to clean up this area and get it back looking welcoming for me. So I should be able to lift her off, hopefully. Nope, she don't want to lift off. I'm going to have to go in with this uh, knife and just sort of get up underneath those edges where it started to stick again. See how that slid right under there? So there, that's all I needed to pop that off. So I'm gonna transfer her onto this because it takes up much less room. I'll let you go ahead and take a look at her. That's where we are with her now. I've gotta hold her because she's not stuck to this. This is her from the side. And she's looking beautiful. So this is the Gay Lake Goddess Pendant. And I have not been working in my apron, so you got to forgive me. I'm going to turn the camera around a little just so I can place this up against my chest and show you how large this piece is and about where, you know, it would fall on a wearer. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off to do that, handling her gently. So you see, this is my pendant that someone gave to me. It was an African mask. And... Um, unfortunately, the paint job on it wore off, so now you can't make out the features of it. But anyway, let's do a quick measurement. So, forgive how I sound, I'm looking down. So that's like about two inches. This one, from top to bottom, is a little over three inches. And please don't let me drop this on the freaking floor. And that's where it would be as a pendant, or higher up, or whatever. But that's the size of it. And you can't see all of me on the screen because I'm fat, but like, you know, for somebody who is much smaller than me and they would actually end at the screen, you see, it's a sizable statement piece. And that's what I like. I forgot I wasn't on camera and started doing that. So anyway, that's her. That's the size it would be. And um, yeah, I love her. So you might as well hang out with me for just a second while I go ahead, clean off this table so you can watch me get back onto my vow to myself, which is to keep my work area neat and welcoming. Now this floor, oh baby, the floor is a whole different story. The floor, I gotta go in with a mask um, probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, uh, no later than Saturday. And I've just gotta go in and really sweep. And I have to be very careful about how I sweep because I need to just push things along. I don't need to agitate and lift because all of that clay dust will come up and it will cover this, this um, apartment like a fog. And you don't realize it until after it's too late, after you've already done it. And those clay particles are in the air, and now you got to walk through all of that. And you know, you don't know what it's doing to you. Um, I see a lot of um, elder sculptors, though, so you know, can't be too bad. Hopefully, it's not too bad for my sake. All right, and I don't have any towels up here, so I've got to find my yeah. I'll use this towel, and I meant paper towels. I always have cloth or fabric towels around me. I get this table nice and clean, very welcoming. And tomorrow, when I get home from work, I'm going to be excited to add detail to her, and I will have plenty of time to create another Gele Goddess pendant. And Saturday, I'm going to create another Gele Goddess um, wall plaque so that that can start drying out with the sister piece on the patio. And then I will be all set. As always, thank you for hanging in there with me. And again, if you want an invitation and reminder for the Facebook Live in October, you'll get three maximum. One email when the date is set so that you can mark that on your calendars. You'll get another email probably about three days or two days before the event. And then the final email that you will receive from me about the Facebook Live sale in October would be about three hours before the sale is about to start because we're all busy. Everybody's hustling and running around and it's very easy to forget things. And I really do want you guys to take advantage. It's going to be the small, mid-sized pieces, uh, the sc small sculptures, mid-sized sculptures, the vessel goddesses that you saw me create before, these new Gele Goddess series pendants and wall plaques. Just a lot to choose from. And it's going to be 
a sale price, period. Just very attractively priced for you so that you can cop what you want, you know, for home decor, office decor, as gifts for loved ones or for yourself, whatever the case may be. But once it does not sell on Facebook Live, any sculptures that do not sell are going to be immediately made available on the website. And that's going to be a different price. And it will not be the Facebook Live sale price. And the pieces, once they go to the website, they're not coming off. That, that would have been your one shot to get it at a very discounted price. Um, and of course, if Mulberry uh, Art Gallery decides they want to hold any in inventory, that, that's a whole other story pricing-wise. So I would really love for you guys who have been supportive of my work and been saying, hey, you know, I hope I can afford one of your pieces one day. Th yeah, in October, that's going to be the day. And I'm going to try to make it a regular thing like every other month so that I can give those offerings to you first and then sort of put it out on the market at the, at the price it's going to be. So send me your email address, three emails max, and we'll get that taken care of. I love you. Peace.